Concrete is one of the most conductive construction materials we build with. To control the heat flow from inside to outside, we must insulate the slab edge. The insulation choice can, is critical because we can also control moisture. The other way we control moisture is sloping the grade away from the building. So whether it's a, a deluge of rain or a light rain or any kind of water up against the building, we want to get it away from the building so it doesn't find its way into and cause other damage. Other ways to prevent rot and decay are to use building materials like metal framing or uh, metal cladding. All of these are mold and rot resistant. They're not rust resistant, so we need to control the moisture to prevent any, any collection of and trapping of that moisture. This is the turned down slab edge of the barn at the off-grid homestead. These are the form, this is the formwork. The slab will be poured right up to this level and it'll turn down about 12 to 18 inches below grade. Once these forms are pulled away, we'll be putting three inches of insulation on the outside to prevent that horizontal heat loss. On the bottom of this, of this turn down is a high density insulation to be able to support the load of the slab and the building above. On the inside of the turndown is more of the same insulation that's on the outside and then cover all underneath the entire slab will be more of that same insulation. This is rock wool insulation. It has uh, several properties that we find very advantageous in in new construction or old construction and when you're looking to buy insulation you want obviously to resist heat loss and heat gain uh, in a lot of cases especially when you're putting it on the exterior of your building you want it to control moisture any moisture that gets up against the building you want it to be able to wick that moisture away somehow and if you have a rigid insulation like this white EPS foam on the exterior of your building, you, you would need an additional uh, rain screen or drainage mat to allow the moisture to then uh, fall away from the building. In our case, we're using this rock wool insulation for, for not just the thermal properties and not just the moisture control properties, but also because it doesn't burn. Uh, it takes a really, it takes some very intense heat to burn rocks. So we've got rock wool uh, specified for this entire project and the only reason we're using this EPS foam which is uh, it's a it's by a Carlisle company called uh, R and the product is called Artec. Uh, Insul foam is the brand but the reason we're using this uh, is because of that load and not there are no rock wool uh, products that are uh, capable of, of bearing the, the weight of a building. Uh, this foam is right up against the dirt and the concrete will be poured right on top of that foam. So this is the only foam in the entire project. Uh, the rest is gonna be this rock, rock wool and this, is, this one in particular is a, it's a Top Rock DD made by Roxel. They're a Canadian uh, insulation company. We've used them on the, the tiny house in Florida and several other projects as well. Uh, so the next step now is to set this insulation here to be uh, for underneath the slab. That is after we've put all our plumbing into uh, below the slab and get it inspected. We'll put this insulation on top. This is blocking to hold this vertical piece of insulation in place until we're ready to start laying our uh, vapor barrier. It's going to wrap the entire bottom of the slab and it'll come up up the edge as well. Once the plastic's down on top of 
our two inches of rock wool insulation here, then we can start putting our rebar, then pour the slab. Again, the slab edge is the most critical in terms of heat loss, moisture control, and controlling air. Uh, later when we get into, when we start framing this building, we're going to treat that connection between the vertical uh, metal framing and the concrete slab. And that's all going to be done on the outside. All of our air control, water control, and thermal control layers are to the outside of our structure. So it protects the structure and it protects everything then inside the building. We will have no cavity insulation. We want all of our insulation to the outside so everything inside that insulation, everything inside the air barrier and the moisture barriers are all protected.